So if you, if you remember, maybe you don't remember when I introduced the weaving goddess line, um, gosh, a year and a few months ago now, I can't believe that so crazy, right? This was one of the projects that we actually did, um, on air. So this was the wrapped bracelet and this, see, I always, I always forget which way it goes. Cause obviously that's too long. I just had it on perfectly earlier. So anyway, this, um, this bracelet is 24 inches long. And then you might also recall that we then came back because we were all like, well, can you do it on the small goddess? And we were like, well, yeah, but obviously it's not going to be able to be as long. And so the small goddess um, produced a 20 inch long wrap. And I love this one. It's so stinking cool. Okay. So yeah. And I think this one ended up being a little bit better for my wrist. So I have a six inch wrist. Okay. And I would say that making this on the goddess, the small one, um, worked out perfectly for, for my wrist, as far as like being able to weave the front and the back. But if you have a bigger wrist, then obviously the large goddess, which I just can't get enough of the flowers. I really can't believe I haven't colored them in yet. Okay. So yeah. So two yards of the one millimeter natural cording. And <clears throat> what I did was I already uh, put that onto the button. So the button that I'm using has two holes and then I just fed, you know, the leather through. Okay. And so this is, like I said, two yards. I've said that a few times now. I'm also going to be using wildfire. Um, it comes up a lot about the beading thread. I, um, wildfire is what I have used like forever. I don't, I'm not, you know, really proficient in all the other, you know, obviously I used Nymo obviously way back in the day in the nineties, I was using, um, I was using fishing line believe it or not, but that's what we used on the leans. We were using fishing line and also some Nymo thread. And I like the Nymo or like the um, Super G when I want some like real flexibility. I do like it for that because wildfire is uh, very, very sturdy and awesome. And obviously, you know, your project's not going to fall apart to that. <laughs> I know that there's a competitive uh, product or uh, maybe something that is similar. Um, I know a lot of people have talked about S Eslon and things like that. So it's beading thread. You just need beading thread, whatever you have. And if you do want what I am using, it typically is going to be wildfire for the wefts. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. What's the batteries for? For the thingy. From being alone. <laughs> okay, so I'm using wildfire and um, I'm going to be working on the large goddess loom. And today we'll get it all set up and we'll talk about the things. And then, of course, you know, we'll come back again every Wednesday throughout the month and um, do another step to all of that. Okay. I'm going to just try to watch the banter that's going on here. I'm uh, using these gorgeous gemstones. These are multicolor stones. Um, these are up on the website as well, front page. I did mark them down by 70% because that's typically what you would find at a show. And I know that nobody can get to a show right now. And um, these would be similar if you had seen a multicolor gemstone strand on JTV. Um, they're all sold out right now, but um, these would be similar. They're matte in color and um, they're six millimeter. And that's what I'm going to be using along with the lava beads. Okay. And I also have those um, marked down on the front. Yes, exactly. So, you know, you could refer to them as chakra beads. You could refer to them as rainbow beads, whatever floats your boat. Um, but that's, 
that's what they are <laughs> naughty loomers <laughs> Oh, my lands. Um, there's also four millimeter ones up on the site now, too. And um, these are just adorable. Whoops. Did I already cut those? I don't want them to go flying everywhere. And so these are four millimeter. Um, they've got the sandstone and the amethyst and all the beautiful colors. Um, yes, to your point, you know, aligned in the chakras and or rainbow, whatever it is that you want to refer to it as. Um, but they're multicolored and absolutely gorgeous. Those are also marked down um, by 70%. So I guess we're kind of like doing our own little trade show here. Hopefully we'll all be out. Yes, on the jewel front, front and center. Just you don't even have to look. Every time I'm on air now, I'm going to try to coordinate products used in the Facebook Live today. And there's going to be what, however many products it is that I used that I carry so that you don't have to go around looking for it. Okay. So the front of the goddess has about 16 and a half inches that you can bead. And then remember that there's that space in between, right? Where we've talked about where we can, we can do some really cool decoration, you know, whether it's sorry ribbon or like I added this really cool little wired um, bead right there. That was with the smallest mandrel um, and probably 20, 28 gauge wire at least. I Yeah, probably. So I can't even, I should demo that one day. But um, that it's just like one of my, I really, really love making those little guys. It's so stinking, stinking fun. And again, that's with the, the smallest mandrel um, on the, what you call it? That thing. Oh my God, why do I always lose my mind when it comes to those things? I will tag you. I know I did it a few times. Joan, did I make you admin in that group? I know I did Sarah. If I haven't with you, Joan, nudge me. But I've also tagged her like three times, so I don't know why she can't find herself. <laughs> so, and then here's the other one. So this was the one on the small goddess where the space in between. So I just wrapped, um, I wrapped sorry ribbon, and then I added this really cool bead combination, and then added, I'm pretty sure that's actually a Swarovski. I think that's one of their, Swar yeah, that was a Swarovski bead right there. So, you know, that space in between is so much fun to like add, you know, that wild part, you know, that, that it's like the, it's like your focal bead, really. Like when you're laying out a necklace and you have that really cool focal bead, that's kind of what I feel like the space in between. And you're probably going, well, Jules, what do you mean by that? Here, let me show you. So what happens is that the space down here, so, you know, you have your, you have your goddess and you, you can bead from right here down to here, which is about 16 and a half inches. But then when I flip it over to go to the back, there's this empty space from right here to right here. So it ends up being like, I don't know, like an inch and a half of space that you can either go back in and hand sew some beads or like what you saw me do, which was wrap some sorry ribbon and then um, and then add some awesomeness. But and then you know, and then it goes to the back. I also feel, Nicole, that um, that we need to do like a a painting, marking, decorating something, right? Because I think people might be a little too shy to do it on your own because you don't want to do anything. Okay, so the front of the goddess has about 16 and a half inches that you can bead. And then remember that there's that space in between, right, where we've talked about where we can, we can do some really cool decoration. You know, whether it's sorry ribbon or like I added this really cool little wired um, bead right there. That was with the smallest mandrel 
um, and probably 20, 28 gauge wire at least. I, yeah, probably. So I can't even, I should demo that one day, but, um, that it's just like one of my, I really, really love making those little guys. It's so stinking, stinking fun. And again, that's with the, the smallest mandrel, um, on the, what you call it? That thing. Oh my God. Why do I always lose my mind when it comes to those things? I will tag you. I know I did it a few times. Joan, did I make you admin in that group? I know I did Sarah. If I haven't with you, Joan, nudge me. But I've also tagged her like three times. So I don't know why she can't find her. So, so and then here's the other one. So this was the one on the small goddess where the space in between. So I just wrapped, um, I wrapped sorry ribbon. And then I added this really cool bead combination. And then added, I'm pretty sure that's actually a Swarovski. I think that's one of their Swar. Yeah, that was a Swarovski bead right there. So, you know, that space in between is so much fun to like add, you know, that wild part, you know, that, that it's like the, it's like your focal bead, really. Like when you're laying out a necklace and you have that really cool focal bead, that's kind of what I feel like the space in between. And you're probably going, well, Jules, what do you mean by that? Here, let me show you. So what happens is that the space down here, so, you know, you have your, you have your goddess and you, you can bead from right here down to here, which is about 16 and a half inches. But then when I flip it over to go to the back, there's this empty space from right here to right here. So it ends up being like, I don't know, like an inch and a half of space that you can either go back in and hand sew some beads or like what you saw me do, which was wrap some sari ribbon and then um, and then add some awesomeness. But and then, you know, and then it goes to the back. I also feel, Nicole, that um, that we need to do like a a painting, marking, decorating something, right? Because I think people might be a little too shy to do it on your own because you don't want to do anything. So I've got um, the first wrap all warped. So I have the button up here and then I came down and I came in between the teeth. And then I flipped it over, right? And then I came back down. And then I tied off at the top. So what I wanted to do as well was start another one. So I have this one ready to go. Let's see. So I was gonna start over here. This is really where I do need a studio, <laughs> like with overhead, because the, the large goddess is so stinking big that it makes it a little bit of a challenge here. Let's see what we got going on. I'm try to do things. Yep, let's see. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab her by the waist. And then I'm just skipping one. So can you see that? How I just took the leather cording and I've got it going around one of the pegs. So if you wanted to make a wider one, then you would go around, I mean, you can make it as wide as you want, right? But usually it's not too, too thick. So how big is the bead? Okay, so I'm using the six millimeter beads. She, she is, you're the goddess, Nicole. Um, Nicole, do you have the small one? I can't remember if you, I think you do. Cause if you have the small goddess, remember we did do this on the small goddess. 
Um, but yeah, the, the large one, I crack up when she's next to me. Cause, cause she is, she's big. This is where blue tape is our friend. Yes. I love blue tape. Okay. So, so I'm just going to bring it back around and place it into the grooves there. <laughs> now my goddess is upside down. God bless her. <laughs> And just going to line up as best as I can. Where's it at? Kind of going a little cross side there, right? And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to tie it. Yeah, when, you know, on the larger loom here, it's a little, it's like she's in your lap. She's, you know, she's kind of, she lays flat. She's all kinds of things. It's a little bit different just to get it started, right? And then we find our groove and... So I'm just tying a knot. I'm going to do a couple knots. Now, remember, I'm working with the one millimeter leather cord and I don't want to be like too aggressive with it because I don't want it to break. So and then I just, you know, I have to keep my tension. So it's it's just that little fumbleina, you know, first step. But it looks like I did pretty good. OK. So we got it all nice and tight there. And so I've got the button. So you could see you could actually be doing two warps, you know, two wrap bracelets at a time if you wanted to. You do have the small one. Awesome. No, I mean the button. Oh, what size button? Okay, well, this button is the only one of the, um, I, guess it's, I guess it would be right to say it's the only one, the only round button wood button left because the other ones are already sold out. Um, and then there are all of the value pack buttons, right? So we're, let's see, did I bring one of those to the table? So remember there's all, there's the value pack of buttons that are still left too. So what is it, 18 pieces or something like that? <laughs> I can't even remember. So all of these are still um, in, in stock. And then this is the smaller one. And I, I think it's a 20, I think that's a 24. I think it's the smallest one. It's the only one that's going to really come up this guy right here. Cause all the other ones sold out. Now, if you're looking at my really awesome sauce one right here, yeah, that's from my personal stash, which I would love to, to find <laughs> for wholesale. Cause that's pretty cool. But, um, okay, got it. What everyone we can do. Okay. All right, good. So if those questions are answered, that's awesome. So now the goddess is ready to warp. And now we can talk math. Okay, so let me just put her to the side. I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper. So I need... This is 24 inches, right? So um, I wanted to I wanted to make one that was was it 23? Because I like the way that this one fits, but wanted it to be, and this is 20. So I wanted it to be about 20. Was it 22? And this string is 15 inches. So 15 inches from what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was 23 inches that I wanted to make. I know this is going to drive you crazy. Um, so 23 inches and I'm just, I'm thinking pattern. This is how my, my poor little head goes pattern, right? So this is how I'm figuring that out. So we've got the 15 inches, but I want, ultimately I want 23. So I'm eight inches shy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do eight separate sections of one inch lava beads to fill that in because I don't want to break up this beautiful color pattern because I don't want one that's 
30 inches long, right? And so I didn't want to just go into half of the rainbow slash chakra pattern. So I thought math gives me a headache. I'm really good at math. So, um, so what I'm going to do is up here at the top, I'll do one inch of lavas. And then in between each color, I'm going to do one inch of lavas. So eight plus 15 is 23 inches. <laughs> Time for a sip of coffee. <laughs> I'm going to need more than coffee when this is over. So I'm just trying to like give you like, how did I get there? Right. Cause you're going to, I'm going to finish this and you're going to be like, Oh, how'd you do that? And I'm going to say, remember on math day, remember when I taught math? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long is the space that jumps from one side to the other? So, so I'm going to start off and with one inch of lava beads, literally one inch of lava beads which appears to be, I'm going to say that's four, four, six millimeter lava beads. Then I'm going to do the first set of colors. Then I'm going to do four more lavas. Then I'm going to do the next set of colors, four more lavas, etc. Okay. And then I'm going to end with four lava, uh, six millimeter lavas. Make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> All right. So let's move everything over. That's your math. Let's see how easy that was. Can you imagine doing? Oh my God, these poor kids that are online and their parents. <laughs> I would just be like a hot mess teacher. I'd be like, break out your limbs. Are the color beads lava beads? Um, they were no, no. These guys are not lava beads. No, <laughs> these are lava beads. The black ones are lava beads. Yeah, these are like expensive, but like I told you, I marked them down like seventy percent. So you could go take a look at them. They're um, um, combination Mexico Brazil. So. They're super beautiful. They've got like this chalky matte deliciousness to them. And then the little tiny ones are super beautiful because it's the amethyst and the topaz and the lapis, I believe, and sandstone. So those are like yummies. Okay, they are pretty, they sure are. Okay. I taught high school math. <laughs> God bless you. That's really something. All right. So we're ready to go. All right. We've got um, our goddess warps. I have my needle and thread. Hey, Rosalinda. See, vouch. Are you guys freezing? Because I am freezing in this part of California. Bro, you're, I always get, you're south of me, right? I always get confused. I need to get, oh, yeah. I got to get, I have to get a place before I get any more stuff. <laughs> I told my girlfriend, she's got to take me shopping for commercial space or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to come down and basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to start beating. So, you know, this goes to, let's see, hopefully I can. Yeah, I was worried that it was going to, she was going to be hard to see here. Oh, here we go. So if I come out, that works nicely. She's going to be a little bit in my lap, but hopefully that looks okay. I'm in Northridge and it's cold. It's horrible. You are in Northridge. Oh my gosh, you're not far from me. I can't wait till we can see each other because I'm going to plan the biggest flipping event ever. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tie off. I'm just going to go ahead and do the tying. I'd love to hear how, if you have the large goddess, um, I, I guess you're probably like me. You probably sometimes work with it in the stand, and I bet sometimes like this, right, laying on the on the table. Oh my God, you, the South 
I don't know what it is about South Africa, but there is something about my heart in South Africa. I, I just get really swoon and loving and heart feelings and so interesting. Every time I see you, Anita or Claire, it's a very interesting vibe. A good one. Very good. Um, so I just went ahead and I tied off over here and I took my needle and thread and we came under the warps and I'm going to start off, like I said, with my lava beads. <laughs> if I can find the hole, there we go. And we're just going to pop that under. Now I'm going to scooch this up because I want to be as close to the top here as possible. But, you know, that first row is always a little more fun sometimes than, there we go. That worked out pretty well. And I'm going to go ahead and um, just scooch that up. I do want to pass through it. Let's see, this is going to be a little tricky. Just bear with me here because I really want this up here. Okay, awesome. Now, in addition to that being up here really nice and tight, let me just tilt this, you guys. I want you to see that. You see how close I have that first bead? Um, because now what I want to do is, and this is going to be a little tricky, so forgive me if like the top of my head, I'm coming under. Oh my gosh, so funny trying to do this this way. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, so let me see. So I went under the bead, under the warps, all right? So I'm just, I'm doing that so that that bead is really nice and secure. So remember how we always do the first and last bead like this. We go under, over, under, over, and then we get back to business. So, it just looks, whoops, don't want to pop that out. Okay, here we go. All righty. So, it's just that first bead that's a little wonka doodle. Okay, so there's the first one. It's nestled up to the top as close as possible and I went over and then over the warps under the under the warps and now I'm back out to the left and I'm just doing that on the first bead and the very last bead so let me just make sure I don't want to have like any any thread that's loose because that always makes your project look yucky okay so I'm going to come back under the warps, transfer the needle and thread to my right hand, and then I'm going to pick up another lava bead. Now, if you um, if your area was wider, so like you know, say you um, skipped more. <laughs> it's really hard doing this sideways. There we go. <laughs> then you could do like a mix of beads. You could do a six millimeter. You could do like maybe two small ones. It just depends on what you could fit into the little alleyway. But these sixes are fitting just perfect. So coming back under. And I'm going to grab... And grab another one. So this will be really fun because now you can use your um, your essential oils. And I'm such an EO fan. Such an EO fan. Love, love, love my EOs. So I'm just, I'm going to take a peek here. I just want to make sure everybody is nice and tight and that Okay, good. All right, so I've got one more lava bead. And we're gonna bring that under and over and wait.
Oops. Okay, awesome. So I've got my first four. That's my first four lava beads. And now I'm gonna get into the stones. So I'm gonna bring my needle and just let that rest here for a second. And cut these guys. And you know what? I might, let's see. If I, there we go, okay. Um, give me two shakes of a leg. I need to find something. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this here. I hate to cover her up, but this might be helpful. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to bring these guys up here. Awesome sauce. Okay. That's probably going to be so helpful. Now, did I get all of those? Cause I don't want to get, okay. All right, so I'm gonna pick one up. Perfect. Did a little MacGyver move there. I saw where some essential oils are not prep friendly. Oh, you know, Vicki, I um I actually work with one of the top vet um essential oil people and um am very very careful about all of that um but i think it's more with the cats as well um and of course it's all about the quality <laughs> you know so i in my humble opinion use the best but uh yeah you need to give her a belly button to hold your beads <laughs> Oh my gosh. So this is really fun. This is gonna, I love how the texture of the um, stones are matching the lava. I'm so stoked that that worked out. Cause I was like, oh, what am I gonna mix? And then I was like, oh, I don't wanna really like do a silver filler bead. And then I, uh oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, this is, there we go, look at magic. Okay, so I'm glad that happened. You know, that can be repaired, but now what did I do here? Um, Uh-oh, what did Jules do? Okay, hold on. You threw me with, you need to give her a belly button. <laughs> What did I do? Oh my God, Jules. Did I go through something more times than, so why is this out over here? Did I not, I did, didn't I? So, so this is over here and it should not be. Okay, I'm gonna go back through, God willing this works cause I don't know what in the heck I did. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, oh my God. How funny is that, you guys? This is on backwards. Was somebody screaming from their, their computer screen trying to tell me that? <laughs> Isn't that funny? It, w it flipped over when it came off. And okay, awesome. We're back on track. Oh my God. But how great, see? Uh, crisis averted and we're all good. Yeah, you have the warps twisted, right, Terry? <laughs> so we're untwisted and we're back on track. Oh my God, so funny. So just popping them up. You know, once you get your rhythm down, these are going to be really really um quick to make and man do people sell these wraps on etsy for like a phew, a good good penny man like i've seen them like 75 on up 
So if you start making these for your shop, um, don't underprice them because they have tremendous value. Okay, bye, Joan. So I'm just going to do a couple more because obviously we want to pick this up on um, next Wednesday. So if you're going to follow along with me, um, hopefully you understand exactly what you'll need. Of course, um, you know, if you don't want to do the leather, you can do hemp um, or any other type of thicker cord. And um, I'm using six millimeter beads. So if you wanted to use a different type of um, six millimeter beads, you could certainly do that. I'm just letting you know what I am using. Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, got one. I have to find that other one. Hi, Trisha. So is this looking pretty easy peasy to you so far? I mean, it really is. It's, um, you know, we giggle about the math, but you've lost the sound. I went out and back. Okay, let me find that other bead. Does anybody see it? There you are. I got one more bead. Perfect. Okay. So then actually, you know what? I do have, um, this is where I would start to do four more lavas. So let me just bring those in. So in case somebody watches. Hi, Shelly. So... Let's do these really quick. You can see after those first um, few beads up there how it, it got a lot easier to get your rhythm down. And of course, I'm, you know, I'm in a position right now to, because I have to be able to show you from the camera, but I would have this closer to me, you know, obviously closer to my belly. Um, I warped with one millimeter uh, leather cord, natural cord. And that's on the front page of the website. It's a dollar per yard and you need two yards. Okay, so one more lava. And, uh, and then I'll have to, um, and then I'm gonna come back up and see if there's any questions because we're already almost at an hour here. Okay, so there's the first part of the pattern, and then I'll do the next, um, the next part of that rainbow colored, chakra colored um, bead strand, and so it's four lava beads, and then the first color, um, and then four more lava beads and, and on and on until you're done. If you want to add a large focal type bead in that empty space, will you tell how it will be attached? Yeah, so we'll, so that'll probably be in. Um, so next week we'll keep, we'll keep, you know, I'll, I'll review the steps and then we'll keep beading. And yeah, so what will that be? Something like the third or fourth is this the first Wednesday? So that'll be like the fourth one. I think I have some. I want to see if I can try and do this. Yes, you can. So we did do this. Remember, we did the small one. Nicole, you and I talked, right? You have a tiny, you have a little boo-boo wrist like me. Um, and so this is, what did I say? This is 20 inches long and I have a six inch wrist. The average is a 24 inch wrap. Okay. So, yeah, I stink and love this one. It's so sexy. Let me get this in here. Yeah. So, 
I love the space in between. It's just so much fun. So much fun. So this is the one that was on the small goddess. And it would be the same, you know, same setup, same everything. You're just, you won't be able to make one that is as long. Um, you know, but then again, I say that and there's nothing to stop you from going around and around on, on the small goddess, you know, like down the front and up the back. And I don't know, can you go over a little bit to the side and come back down the front? It's worth a try. <laughs> yeah, you have a little one. Yeah. And so here is the larger wrap. So this one was like, what did I say? 24 inches. This is the one I did on JTV. And this one, I put more beads across. Okay. So this one takes a lot more beads. But if you just want to do something easy peasy, um, you know, because they're still, again, you know, if you're making things for your boutique or, you know, just do a single strand of gemstones and like a filler bead. And that way, you know, your product to um, what you sell it for will, will be really good. <laughs> 